What's up guys, I'm back with another video. It's been a little while since I've done one. Um, had some family things come up, which uh, it's kind of made it a little bit crazy in my life right now, but um, I went and rode the bike Saturday and it is now Monday, it's Memorial Day and I'm gonna do an oil change on it. So figured I'd show you guys that. I don't know if you can hear me very well. I got this sweet AC unit from a buddy um, and it is the best thing ever. I mean, oh, it, it feels so good. Um, anyway, there's the bike out there. Uh, yeah, so I typically do my oil changes at about, oh, probably about four hours. Um, some people think that's a little bit excessive. I really don't care. I just like to preserve my motor as long as possible. So um, now for oil, I actually use the 1540 T4 Rotella. It's diesel oil. Um, it is built to withstand high compression, which these motors have. Um, it has zero um, uh, friction modifiers in it, so it's great for the clutch. Um, I've heard of a lot of people running that oil and never having an issue. And I've run it now on um, two four strokes through the entire time I've had them, never had an issue. Um, I got a, a, a video of a, a clutch um, inspection that I did with 40 hours on on it, a stock clutch with 40 hours on it from my 250. And that clutch looked amazing. So no burning, no, um, you know, the, the basket itself looked good. Everything looked great on it. And I attribute a lot of that to the oil. So, and my frequencies and how often I change it. Now I don't change the filter every time, but um, I'm gonna go with uh, Maxima Pro Filter. Um, I love Maxima's products. I think they're amazing. I've I run their oil, or all of their liquids, their fluids, and everything like that in my bike, except for the engine oil. I've even got their coolant in my bike too. Um, I don't have, I don't run the engine ice just because I, I don't really have a need to spend that much money on it. But um, anyway, I run the coolant all, and it's great. Um, never had an issue with it. I can leave it in the bike all winter long, and uh, don't worry about it freezing or nothing like that. So it's pretty awesome. Um, Anyway, uh, let's hop to it. I'm gonna show you guys the correct way to do an oil change. And um, yeah, it's fairly simple, fairly easy. But uh, if you've never done it before, it can kind of be intimidating. So I hope this helps somebody out. We'll hop to it. So gas is on. First thing we wanna do is warm the bike up. We're gonna do that now. So I'm gonna let it warm up for about three minutes, just enough to circulate the oil and get it hot. While that's warming up, um, I just want to say, uh, if you guys don't have one of these uh, measuring cups, they are a lifesaver and they're super cheap to buy. I've got a couple of them. Um, I've got this uh, Ratio Right cup. This one, I think it's, I don't know what it is, AccuPour, and then I've also got this two-stroke mix back when I had a two-stroke, um, which you can use it too. It's great for measuring. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Hi, Nixon. Hi. Are you playing with the laser? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're pretty funny, huh? All right. First things first, get you a good drain pan. Like this one. It's pretty good. Okay, so underneath the motor here, let's see if I can get you guys to see this. There is a drain plug right there. See that blue one? That's the one I need to pull. So, 14 millimeter. This one's a magnetic drain plug too. I would highly recommend having one of them. Oil's gonna be hot, guys. Just don't burn yourself. Don't make your life miserable. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up this fill port here. That will let a little bit of, it'll, it'll let the air, you know, enter the engine while the other two drain so okay we just drained the sump now we're gonna drain the actual engine cavity here um and it is that bolt right there that drain bolt right there there's two drain bolts on this bike to change all up okay 
So before I get too carried away here, I'm going to soak this new oil filter in oil. cratered you know oil will look like sludge everything will be hammered on it and then you'll go to first thing you'll do go drain the oil on it and the oil drain plug is stripped out it's like the worst thing ever so make sure your brass washer is on there they say you're supposed to replace these every time I don't but it's good practice if you have them on hand to do that our fill cap oh and I also forgot to say um, one liter is equivalent to a thousand milliliters so um, like with an oil with a oil filter it calls for exactly one liter so if I fill it up to a thousand milliliters that's perfect I can't imagine paying somebody to do this because I don't even know what it costs. I've never paid somebody. It's just so easy to do by yourself and then you know exactly what's been done. We filling it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Look, I'm pouring oil, Nixon, see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, shiny? Yeah. See, the oil is all shiny. Yeah. What color is it? It's new. It's no, no, not the bike, the oil. Is it yellow? Yeah, it's yellow. It's kind of gold, huh? Yeah, it's kind of gold. Kind of gold, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. 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 Dipstick back in. It's snug, not tight. You're going to never get it back out. So we're gonna pull the dipstick here 
see what it shows. Um, oh yeah, anyway, I let it idle for about three minutes, had it off about two minutes, long enough to pull it in here and uh, um, kinda make sure there's no leaks on my drain plugs. Okay, so as you can see, there's the cross hatch on the dipstick. We're gonna go ahead and set it in. Without threading it, let me get this towel out of the way. And we're gonna pull it out and see where we're at. Ooh, just, I don't know if you can tell there, just below the cross hatch. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I will have to run it again and double check it, but that is an oil change for you on a YZ450F. And it's pretty simple. You guys get used to doing your own oil changes, you will appreciate your bike a lot more, being that you know the maintenance that's been done to it. And uh, yeah, if you guys liked it, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, catch you next time. Can you tell everybody bye-bye? Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs>